do you know? The first thing I can ever remember wanting to be when I was a kid was Wonder Woman. You know, you'd ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And everyone else was saying a farm and a vet, a doctor, a teacher, a mummy. And I said, I want to be Wonder Woman. And people would laugh at me and say, well, you know, that's a bit silly, really. She's a superhero. And I'd say, I don't care. I want to be Wonder Woman. Now, I think I held on to this desire to be Wonder Woman a little bit longer than was developmentally appropriate. Now, why am I telling you all about this? Why am I taking you on this little trip down memory lane? Now, I'm not about to suggest that what you wanted to be a child is what you should have grown up to become and that if you haven't become that fireman vet, teacher or superhero, perhaps you should be living a life of regret. Of course not. That's utter nonsense. But what I do think is so interesting is the utter conviction we have in our potential when we are children. The utter conviction we have in our potential. You ask any child what they want to be when they grow up and they will tell you, I'm going to be a... And there are no questions. There are no doubts. There are no fears. There are no concerns. And somewhere along the way, we lose that. We lose that sense of unconditional belief in our potential. What can we all learn from this? What we can all learn is that there's nothing wrong with holding an utter conviction and a total belief in your potential. You don't need to brace yourself for all of those realities as part of getting ready to go after something. Why can't you just hold that belief a little bit longer that actually it's all going to turn out the way that you want it to? Now, once you've boosted yourself up with that glorious feeling, by all means, you know, as an adult, you might need to do a risk analysis. You might need to assess what may or may not go wrong. You might need to look at actually your plans and your strategies and how you're going to make this dream or idea of yours a reality. But instead of starting from that point, start with the utter conviction and belief in your potential. And when you completely believe in yourself and your right to pursue whatever it is that you want, then start going about and tackling it in a sensible way and breaking it down into various pieces and looking at what needs to be done. But start by looking at your goal through the eyes of a child. I'm Dominique Bertolucci and you've been watching DBTV, the place to go to feel good about who you are and the life you live. If you've liked this video, please, like it and share it with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, click subscribe. And if you've come across this video through anywhere other than DominiqueBertolucci.com, then please pop on over and sign up for email updates where I'll tell you about all sorts of goings on and happenings and things that I only share with my email subscribers. I'll be back again next week. And until then, take care. And remember, it's not about having it all. It's about having the things that matter. Oh. <sighs>